Hello, I'm Leo Maris Reyes, Microsoft MVP for four years in a row, and today I want to give you the welcome to the .NET MAUI challenges. But um, what's that? How does it work? These are different types of challenges in which we will be exploring about .NET MAUI topics. This will be launching periodically, and the most important goal of that is that you will be able to continue practice and continue growing up in your .NET MAUI career. So join with us and let's continue learning about .NET MAUI. But what about the challenge structure? Each one of the challenge has exactly the same structure. This one is composed by three important points that you have to keep in mind. The first one is the statement of the challenge. You will always see an image which will be giving you a description of what the challenge expects from you. And also, you will be able to see three possible options about your challenge, but you only have to select one. The second point is the solution. In each challenge, you will have the option that solves this one. It will be hidden so that I recommend you first to analyze it and then click it to see the current answer with its respective explanation. And finally, the static resource. Once you see the current answer, each challenge solution will be having an static resource so you can delve into it and continue studying about this topic. The challenge for today is about the Teletix data grid. This is a powerful control that allows you to easily visualize and edit tabular representing data in your .NET MAUI applications. The problem for today is, what are the approaches that you can take to define different columns in the Teletix data grid? The Teletix data grid has a set of defined values that will allow you to establish how the column size will be used. So we have three different options and remember that you just have to tell it one. Let's explore each one of them. The first one is manually, proportional or auto. The second one is mixed, proportional or absolute. And the last one is manually, automatically or mixed. So think about it and remember that we will be seeing you in the next session with the solution. The right answer is the option C. The Teletix Data Grid only allows you three column type, manually, automatically, and mixed. And as its name said, manually allows you to add columns manually in the Teletix Data Grid. Automatically allows you to add automatically the columns in your data grid. And finally, we have to mix it. This allows us both add manually and automatically columns to your data grid. And that's why the first option that has manually proportional and auto does not exist because auto is invalid. And the second one has mixed proportional and absolute and the absolute value does not exist. So let's continue with the static resource that will allow you to continue exploring about Teletix data grid. Here we have three. Let's explore each one of them. The first one is that the MAUI data grid is an overview about what does this control has for us. You can see here a high performance in UI visualization, editing, column resizing, column reordering, and different important topics that will allow you to continue grinding in your knowledge in this control. Columns and groups, aggregates, rules alteration, and so on. Let's continue with the second one. Here is the .NET MAUI data grid columns. Please explore and delve into it, and you will be able to understand much better about the difference between manually, automatically, how to implement it, and how to use it. And I also invite you to explore this column that we have here with the different topic. Column headers, column cell, cell templates, column folders, column resizes, and so on. Here we can explore the properties, example with data grid columns. 
in C sharp or in salmon. And finally, let's continue with the Dungeon Mobile Data Grid Overview. This is a general overview about all that you can do with this powerful and amazing control. Here we have the key features. Um, finally, we have the next step to implement in our Dungeon Mobile apps. So I hope you like it and see you in the next Dungeon Mobile Challenge.